Welcome back, Java Coders. In this video, we are going to take a look at the idea of passing information back and forth between two J frames, but we're going to do it using an interface as part of the setup. And this really is the best way to set it up. So even if you've watched the previous video where we got it working and it worked okay, uh, we had mentioned that it would only work with that specific frame here. So my example was as I could select a month, this window pops up. I could pick my month, May, submit, it switches it to May. But the problem was, was in the code and the way we set this up, if you've watched that video, was this class was called mainframe and it popped open month picker. Well, month picker had a variable inside it, owner, which was of type mainframe. The problem here is, is I've written this nice month picker frame, right, that has a drop down and let's pick months, but it only works with mainframe because that's what I declared the owner as right when they hit the submit button it asks the owner to run their month picked variable what I'd like to do in this video is show you how to set this up so this awesome month picker frame you've made can work with any window that is set up properly so here we go here are the changes I'm gonna do now the way I know this works right now is that when month picker is ready to send the data back it says hey owner call the method month picked. This is an absolute requirement, right? That the owner frame has to have. Now I know my owner frame has it because I wrote it. Main frame has the method month picked. But that's because I trust myself and what I've done here. Watch this setup using interfaces. So if you don't know what an interface is, go watch a video on interfaces that I have somewhere in the list, then come back and watch this one. So here we go. I've written an interface called month picker listener okay and what it does is it has one method as part of the interface and look at that it's familiar public void month picked okay string month so what this is gonna do is I'm gonna make my main class okay mainframe implement it now remember with interfaces to implement this interface all you have to do is code this method so I already have it coded month pick string month month picked string now I call it month picked it doesn't really matter you don't have to have it matching but here let me just write it there month picked there we go okay but I have implemented it okay I've written that code here on mainframe month picked now because I've satisfied this interface by coding all its methods okay just the one what I can say at the top here is I can say that my mainframe extends JFrame and implements month picker listener, right? Because it does implement month picker listener. It coded that one method from the interface. So that's step one. Make sure you implement uh, the method, right? The thing that's going to sit there and listen. Now, why I called it a listener is this class is now set up to listen for this call month picked okay so sometimes all out of the blue that other frame that has the months on it is gonna say hey run your month picked method and here's some info right and that info lets it know the month that was picked so what other changes do I have to make that will be beneficial now well let's go to the month picker itself right the frame that lets you pick the month the big change I'm going to make here, which is the, the important one to note, is I don't have to say it's a mainframe anymore. This will still work because a mainframe, which will be known as owner, it does have the method month picked. So this works. But here's what's better. Change the month picker, not to mainframe, but change it to a, whoa, why did it jump? Let's go back here. Change it to a month picker listener object called owner. Now what this sets up is this means that this reference variable owner can point in memory to anything that qualifies as a month picker listener. My mainframe, it implements month picker listener, so it is a month picker listener. It can be uh, an address in memory that owner 
can point to. Check this out too. I've written another class here, events frame. My events frame, I've coded month picked. There it is coded. And so up here I've written my events frame also implements month picker listener. And so events frame is a month picker listener. It can also open up the month picker. And when the month picker is done, the month picker will say, hey, oops, I got an error here. Month picker listener found mainframe. Hold on, hold on. Somewhere in here. There we go. Owner equals, oh, I forgot to change this. Oops. Month picker listener. That's important. Okay, the constructor also now takes in a month picker listener. It doesn't always take in a mainframe or only mainframe would be able to use this class. Now it takes in the month picker listener. Okay, which could be my events frame. It's a month picker listener. Or it could be my mainframe, which is also a month picker listener because it coded that method. You can write as many frames as you want. And as long as you code that method and then state up here, implements the listener then the month picker works it's made it's given that frame when it's done because we know all month picker listeners that's what owner is right it's a month picker listener we know it has the method month picked because that's what that interface says you've satisfied then you can call the method month picked and it just works and so when you give this a go now, this should work nicely. I'm wondering where my red line is. Let me just run the mainframe here. And you'll see with this setup, everything will still work just like before. But this is much more uh, powerful and much more usable. Because now I can use this with any classes. Let's say February. And it's at the February. And if I wanted to use my events page, the events page is also going to work. Because the events page is a month picker listener. Okay, so this makes it really flexible, okay? Not just written for one specific J-frame type. Okay, and that's the basic idea. Um, those that go on to explore Java more are going to see a lot of things. Like if you write with Android and you want to access the GPS or access the camera or access the gyroscopes, they do a lot of this kind of stuff where you must implement an interface which proves you've got a method ready for some other class to call right and that's really the interface right the interface guarantees there's no way I can set the owner because the constructor only takes a month picker listener in I'm guaranteed whatever comes in here whatever type of frame it is has the method month picked because that's what the interface requires and that's really it so that's your full setup for passing data back and forth uh, between classes there's one little extra video which just points something else out if you really have to send a lot of info what do you do i'll do a little two minute video on that that's really short but that's uh, about it that gets you set up pass the data away now thanks for watching